I am Zach Darnell. I'm a marine behavioral ecologist, which means I study marine animals and try to better understand why they are doing what they do. So the, the field of behavioral ecology is fairly broad. Uh, most of our research is focused on how marine animals, uh, specifically crustaceans, so crabs, shrimp, uh, amphipods, uh, those, those type of marine animals, how they respond behaviorally to environmental change uh, and environmental gradients. So changes in the temperature or the salinity of the water. Uh, you've got the fresher, lower salinity areas further inland and the saltier, higher salinity areas closer to the ocean. You've got animals interacting with these environmental changes and how they behave in response to these changes is going to determine where they are, which can impact fisheries uh, and coastal economies. It can also result in the health and abundance of these animals and are their populations able to persist in a given area? Uh, are they able to continue to thrive or are they going to have to move out of that area? Right now, one of our research projects is focusing on the distribution and uh, abundance of spawning female blue crabs in Mississippi. So these are reproductive female crabs that will enable the fishery to be sustained in the future. Uh, we go out to Cat Island and Horn Island uh, off the coast of Mississippi and we set uh, crab traps in each of these areas. When we pull up the traps, we count how many crabs are in the trap, we measure the crabs, uh, we weigh the crabs, we determine if they're male or female. If they're female, we look at whether or not they're reproductive. Uh, and we're also interested in, in how the crabs are moving during the spawning period. So to do that, we tag the crabs. And we hope that when people catch these crabs that are tagged, they'll call us, tell us where they caught it, when they caught it. And so we can then look at how they're moving through this environment. We spend most of every summer uh, almost every day out on the water or on the beach, uh, catching crabs, observing crabs, watching what they do. I think if you're interested in animals and animal behavior, and you know, if you see an animal doing something and think, why is it doing that, and you like the ocean, this is the field for you.